Hi there, Wendy here from Dress That Cute. In this video, we're going to draw and color a sweet little bird singing on top of a birdhouse. So let's get started. With this drawing, we're going to first start by drawing the little bird. So right here, I'm going to be drawing a curve for the top of the head. Just a nice curve like that. And we're going to bring this curve around for the body. So we're trying to taper everything to this about this um, edge right here. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit more, kind of like drawing a little teardrop. So I'm going to bring this up, about right there, and then I would connect it back to this line. But because I'm going to be coloring this video and I can't erase and using a Sharpie, I'm going to come in here and just draw the wing first. So with the wing, it's kind of the same shape, but just smaller. Just come in about right here, same thing. Draw a curve. And once again, bring it around. Come out. And connect it. Back. And so then it can just come in here. And finish this off. So if you're comfortable um, drawing this shape, you can start right here. It'll be a little bit easier. Just come up all the way around and back. But if um, you're not comfortable doing that, just do what I did and break it up to these little steps. So there, we got the bird's body and the wings in. Now let's go give it a little cute beak. And so about right here, I'm going to draw kind of like an M at a slant. So basically a little M. <laughs> And then right here, we're going to be drawing a curve for the eyes. It's a very happy little bird. So notice it's at a slant. I'm just going to come in here and thicken it. And then come up here and just do a little curve just to anchor the eye. And so then from there, just to be able to um, add some different colors if you wanted to break up the body, I'm going to come about right here and draw a little curve to separate the birds on um, the under, under part of the bird. So there. And then um, from there we're basically, oh I forgot, the feathers. So if you want some details on the feathers, we can just draw some curves right here as slant. Just a little indication of the feathers. And so then from there we can draw our little birdhouse. So come to the center and we're going to just give yourself a little point right under the bird. And we're going to draw two slants. So I'm making this drawing super easy because it's just for fun and it's really sweet little drawing. I've always loved drawing these little birds and bird houses. <laughs> so I hope it inspires you too. So come down once again and we're going to draw the same thing under it. And then you can come back in here and just connect it. Soft curve. And then right here we're going to draw the base of the house. We're going to draw the body of the house, I mean, and then, so it's kind of like a slant. Just kind of like it at a slant more. I think it's a little bit cuter than just straight. So you just come in here and connect the bottom. And for some details on this little birdhouse, I'm going to come in here in the center. I'm just going to give myself a little point, and I'm going to draw a heart for the opening. And then in under here, I'm just going to draw a little circle for the where you would put the post. So then from there, you can finish off the legs. So just center your legs onto the house. And then you can come in here and darken a little bit to indicate the feet. But you don't really have to. Um, so then from there, let's draw the little hearts that she's tweeting a sweet melody. So I'm going to come here and draw these three hearts are kind of angled differently just to add some movement to the hearts. It's however you like it. Maybe this one's a little bit bigger and then one more smaller one that goes up. So there, from there now I'm going to draw the post that this uh, birdhouse is um, sitting on. So about the center. And try to draw a straight line. <laughs> Hope I'm not too slanted. And another one. So there. 
my cute little, a sweet little bird. I hope this really inspires you. And um, now it's time to color it. And I'm going to be using basic Crayola markers, just water-based markers. So anything you have at home should work. So there, my sweet little bluebird is all drawn and colored. I hope you love this drawing and it inspires you to draw something very sweet and cute for somebody today. Thanks so much for watching and if you love this drawing, please give me a like and share it. And remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.